Hey, Eli Roberts here. Today I'm talking to you about the Canon RF 50mm 1.2. This big old uh, book of beast. It's amazing. Uh, I've had a 50mm since I started shooting. Shot my first wedding with the 50 EF 1.2 and it was amazing. Um, have all different manufacturers, Sigma, Sony, uh, yeah, Nikon. Tried them all and they're all great. Uh, but yeah, this one in particular has a lot of character. It may not be the sharpest or the fastest focusing, but it has a lot of character. Some fun flares. Um, I've always pretty much had a 50 on one side or an 85 and then a 35 or 24 prime on the other, but currently Canon doesn't have a 35 prime or a 24 uh, for the RF system. So 28 to 70 is kind of my go-to for everything. And then this is my fun creative portrait shot uh, lens. So yeah, I'm going to jump in here, just get straight to it. Jump through, a, a photographed over 100 weddings, 150 other shoots, delivered over 25,000 images with this uh, particular lens. And so I've taken a lot, uh, I've got a lot of experience with it. So I'm going to go through some images today, just kind of show you a wide range of photos. And um, yeah, pretty much all at 1.2 for the most part, which I think, you know, it's where this lens shines. So let's jump in. I'm going to start out with my most recent work. So we're going to be... Looking at a, um, I did a band shoot that kind of entailed some studio work and then portraits. I can't share the portraits yet, but uh, here we are at 1.2. And you can see it's sharp enough to see that he's wearing contact lenses. This is a senior portrait. Um, one cool thing about this is it doesn't always happen, but a lot of times you'll get this like rainbow flare. But then when it gets over your subject's skin, it kind of disappears, which kind of it gives a lot of depth to the image, which is really cool. Um, you'll see in these images, there's a lot of flares going on. 50 is wide enough to kind of get a lot of sunlight in. And then, um, I guess in your field of view, but you can always work with it and make, you know, you can get rid of it if you want, if you just want to move an angle or you, if you want to put a lens hood on, you could. Um, here we are at 1.4 for elopement, 1.2 portrait. And this is just some crazy flare. You're going to lose a lot of color contrast. When you get down to 1.2, a lot of times, but you can always bring it back in post. And this was a crazy flare. I left this one in, just I thought it was rad. Uh, they're like in a flare bubble. But I love Canon's orange or reddish flares. I think it's something I missed when I was using Sony. And 1.8 there, just walking. And here we are, low light, getting kind of dark. 1.2, love the colors out of this. And here again, going to lose a lot of color and contrast, but we can always bring it back with post. And inside of a cave, I'm using a video light from the videographers. And senior portrait, super sharp, 1.2. And speakeasy bar, we're out of focus a little bit, but this is a reception uh, downtown. A lot of light coming in. And a little bit of that rainbow on her hand and her hand too right there. And then panoramics up on uh, the mountains. These are great, some nice flare there. A little panoramic, got a double flare in there. And first dance. Some fun flares here. These guys were walking back from portraits to the dance floor, and I just love this. I mean, you shoot at 1.2, you're going to get some beautiful, beautiful images. And those portraits we're talking about. And back in the studio with these guys. And a portrait at a wedding. I had a softbox video light popping in on this side. It was getting pretty dark. It's fun to take detail shots at 1.2. Um, just really fun and creative. Nice walking photo. Another walking photo. Some of that fun flare. Nice and orange. Love it. Very warm. Oops. This magic mouse is jumpy. All right. Lots of flare. I definitely took a picture without flare here, but I just love this. I mean, they're really cute and it's just great. All that flare in there. Super fun. And a first dance. Starting to get dark. We're at 1,000 ISO. And previous to that, some portraits. A little crazy flare here. I don't, yeah, it's kind of washing out, but I think it's fun. Left it in. 
Yeah. Post ceremony portrait, lots of color. The R6 is exceptionally vibrant when it comes to color. This portrait of these guys. Indoors, crisp. That's with the R3. And outside with the R3. And I use uh, video lights for my studio portraits so I can get down to 1.2. So 200 ISO, 200 shutter, f1.2. And this is great. We had some palm fronds we were hitting together. It was a little breeze. I probably shot this at 1.2. Should have shared that one. But yeah, here we are, 1.2. Just beautiful color, R6. Yeah, love it. And indoors, 1.2. Here I maxed out my shutter and my ISO, so I'm at 1.4, but still really pretty. And 1.2, or 1.4. And studio portrait with a six foot umbrella, or not studio, and we shot in a house, but yeah, six foot umbrella, 1.2. And here we are, 1.2. 1.2 for Gwen, a friend, fellow photographer. In downtown Sacramento. So I ended up at 2.8. My settings are way off here. Maybe I was just running around in a rush. There we go. 1.2. 1.2. 1.8. Running shot. Pretty good at movement. It's rare that I'll have it miss. It is a noisy lens when it focuses, but, you know. Sometimes that can be annoying. Sometimes you just get over it. And 1.2. 1.2 here. And 1.2. This is a panoramic. Three images vertically. Love this shot. It's just special up here. 9,000 feet up. And 1.2. This is a six image panoramic. Three on the bottom, three on the top. Yeah, you can see this one really 1.2 and we use some uh, video light in my hand left hand camera in the right and we've got these right here trying to balance it out 1.2 and some fun flare right there my buddy matt here in istanbul the bosphorus back there Beautiful, love that orange glow. Beautiful ceremony site. I was shooting through a leaf here, I think. Yeah, there's a leaf on the ground. And this here's probably flash. Might have been an ice light in my left hand. I can't remember. Yeah, this is just whatever light was around. And this is the lobby, the light in the lobby. And up on a mountaintop, it's fun to like, you know, get creative with this thing. I mean, you can't not be at 1.2. There's 1.2, pushing it hard on the light. Eight, yeah, 8,000 shutter, 50 ISO. We got to jump in this pool. And this is fun. This is a three image panoramic. I wanted to see how much bokeh I could create. And yeah, <laughs> you can see super sharp on her eye. I think both eyes, yeah. Same spot. And these guys are awesome. Huge panoramic, very sharp, showing off the cave. And nice and sharp. I mean, yeah, this thing focuses great in low light. It, it can be a little slow, and when you can hear it, it sounds slower. <laughs> but uh, these are great. And someone drove by, there was some dust. We got some real creative light. Really pretty, nice and orange. Love this one, just this warm glow. It's just so pretty. Ceremony portrait or picture. These guys are awesome. Got a lot of style. But yeah, these are all going to be at 1.2. Super sharp. After sunset. Little little cloud on the horizon. Earlier in the day, there was some sun. And then first kiss. These guys rock. <laughs> And this was for a magazine. We were inside a greenhouse, which is the best light ever. Yeah, they're both in focus here at 2.0. 
And this one's really fun. And some fun flare here. Yeah, this next one's cool. Got this flare coming down from top up top and then across the top of them here and coming through. Pretty cool. These guys are awesome. 1.2. They got married up here and then flew out in our airplane to the reception. Oh yeah, these guys are great. Um, they uh, we photographed Healdsburg near Woods and then Baker Beach, and uh, I just love this picture. It's yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> and then uh, this is where Canon. Like I just love Canon. R6 is more vibrant, but Canon has these deep purple blues and these nice bright orange colors and. It's red glow. Uh, I was raised on Canon in my photography career, but I, I do appreciate all cameras. I think they're all great. This is a six inch pano. It was getting pretty dark in Muir Woods with these tall trees, redwoods. So fighting light, but 1.2 was good for that. Some fun flare up in Healdsburg, in wine country. This is a wedding where we went up on a ridge for uh, Central Coast, California for portraits, and it was perfect. Um, this one's out of focus, but really beautiful. And down below, some of that flare coming in. Just you got it up here, and then kind of just balances it out. And in the studio with some strobe work. And Sayulita, right after they got married. Beautiful. And then portraits around town. Those nice rainbows. Yep, you can see where the rainbow comes in, and then you kind of lose it, and then you get it again. On this jacket, it really shines. Love this. Canon skin tones. 1.2. Nice big snowstorm. Winter elopement. This was a crazy panoramic. I got lucky and didn't get any vignetting in the sky. A lot of times you'll have that with the blues. Deep blues will vignette and overlap. Look a little funky, but lucked out on this one. These guys put on the best Halloween wedding. So rad. And yeah, love this. These colors here. This sunset was one to remember. If you Google Crater Lake elopement or wedding, you'll see the my favorite photo of Crater Lake ever. But uh, this is a three image panoramic. On the other side, R6 shining with the skin tones. And then R6 again, three image panoramic. And up close and personal. So cool. Yeah. So you can see this lens has been great for me. Um, I think they're just over 2000 bucks, which is a lot of money. But, uh, you know, I haven't used the cheaper version of. RF Prime, but you know, this thing is beautiful. You know, you could shoot a whole portrait session with this no problem. You could maybe shoot a whole wedding day. You'd miss out on some wide stuff, but I wouldn't want to, but I've heard people have. Um, but yeah, hopefully that's helpful. Um, if it is, let me know in the comments. I know it's a little old, you know, a couple years later to put this out, but I'm new to YouTube, so might as well share my thoughts and see what you guys think. So have a good day.